Welcome. So in this tutorial, our goal is to prep for your painting. Um, these little tips and tricks are going to help whenever you're doing any acrylic paintings, and some of them even transfer into other kinds of paints. But we're going to go through five steps to make sure that we're really ready to go. So I have the five steps here, and I'm going to just keep referring back to this as we walk through it. Number one, tape your border. So you should have your final piece of paper, really nice. I like to work on the side that has a little bit of texture, so if you feel it, it's got what's called tooth in the paper. Um, so I'm gonna keep that side on the top, and then I'm going to place it onto my hard um, board that I'm going to use while I'm transferring and while I'm working. After that, I'm gonna grab my tape. Now I don't wanna just take the tape and start taping that border directly down because when I go to pull that tape up later, there's a very high chance that it's going to rip your paper. So instead what I'm going to do is if I have some kind of sweater or pants on, I am going to actually get rid of some of that adhesive that would stick and I'm going to tape it onto my pants or my sweater or whatever I have so it gets a little less sticky. And then I'm going to put it on so that about half of the tape, I want it to be nice and even, half of the tape is off and half of the tape is on the paper. Okay. And I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around. Okay, so I'm done with my tape. Um, I should have a nice, clean, even border all the way around, halfway on the paper, halfway off, not too sticky. If you have extra, you can either tear it off or you can fold it over. And now I'm ready for my clean slate. Make sure you don't have any little hairs in there. Um, so I'm ready for the next step. Step number two says that I need to now stain this paper um, with a lighter color that's similar to some of the other colors I might have in here. So when I look in here, I can see there is some like flat white, so I don't want to go too dark because I'm going to need to build up some plain white on mine. But I see a lot of these blues, these really pale blues. So I think that's what I'm going to create. I'm actually going to create just a pale blue wash, and I'm going to use the largest brush I have to paint that on here. So to do that, I'm going to grab um, a palette, or in this case, I'm really just going to grab my a piece of wax paper because I'm at home and I don't have a palette on hand. Um, I'm going to grab a little bit of a blue, so I have an ultramarine blue. I want it to be really pale, so I'm actually going to grab some white as well. Notice I'm really not using much. I'm gonna use more white, but I'm still gonna water it down, so I don't need a ton. I'll go ahead and mix this to make sure it's a nice pale color. That should work. And then I'm gonna grab some water. And by dipping my paintbrush in water, I'm going to then just cover this whole thing. Okay, and it should smoothly go on there because I have enough water. And just being careful, dipping water every time, just because this is a wash. It's not the actual final painting of anything. Make sure you don't have any of these little hairs that keep popping up, probably from my sweater. Um, but this is just going to make it easier whenever you go to apply other colors um, to be able to build up those colors as opposed to just using your plain white of your paper. So. Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, so I am all done doing my wash over my entire paper, um, and I let it dry. It dries pretty quickly because it's mainly water, and acrylic paint already dries pretty quick. So I'm gonna set this aside, and I'm gonna move on to my next step, which is to chalk the back of my printed photo. So you should have already manipulated, um, I saturated and posterized your photo, and then printed it off so that it fills up an eight and a half by 11 page. Um, I suggest printing two of them, one that you can use just as a reference, the other one that you can use for this transfer process. So right now I'm going to show you how to do a chalk transfer. First thing you need to do is you need to flip it over, you need to grab a piece of chalk, you can grab whatever color you have available. I like to use a lighter color, um, but I'm just using the side of the chalk 
I'm pressing it down. Oops, don't do that. And I'm covering the entire back. Okay, and I want to make sure that it's all completely covered. Okay, then I'm going to I'm going to wipe off my table really quickly so I don't continue to make a mess. Chalk tends to do that. Oops, and I had a little bit of paint on that. So there we go. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper. I'm going to place my image that I chalked on there. Um, I want to hold it down so that it doesn't move. In fact, I might even grab some tape and just put a couple pieces of tape just right here and right here so it doesn't move. And then I'm going to go through and with my pencil, I'm going to apply some pressure and I'm going to draw the contours, just the main contours of all the food. Anything that I think might be helpful whenever I'm going to paint this in later. So here I go. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Okay, so I have outlined all the major contours, any major value shifts. So whenever it shifts to something really light like white or whenever it shifts to something a little bit darker, um, as well as like all my little sprinkles, all my chocolate chips, and the main outlines and main contours of my cookies. Um, I did press down pretty hard, and I also, um, with my pencil to make sure it makes the transfer, I also tried not to press down with my hands um, because I don't wanna get any extra chalk on there. Now, I'm about done, so I'm gonna take off just one side to make sure. Pretty good. And so it's pretty light, but if you look at it, you can see I now have um, a pale outline of my main cookies and things on there that are exactly accurate and proportional to my actual photo. Um, at this point, the only other step I have left to prep is just to clean it up because that was tracing my transfer. Um, so to clean it up, you have your kneaded eraser, especially if you use some darker lines, you can erase any parts, but mine's so light um, that I don't know that I really need to clean it up. If anything, I could go back and I could maybe even like darken some areas very lightly so that I can see where like the main cookies are. And that could be like my version of cleaning it up. I still always want to reference this while I start painting it. Um, and I'm gonna start with my darker colors and I'm gonna work towards my lighter colors. But now I have a really good idea of where everything's going to go um, and I'm ready to start painting. If your transfer is, if you think this is too light for you to work, if it's hard to see, you can always use a darker chalk. You can also um, rub it all off with a paper towel or a um, Kleenex or use a wash on top of it and try again with a darker chalk pastel, okay? All right, we're ready to go. Happy, happy painting.